hearts are spirit, Lord, and they are Lord. You have the message of eternal life. Praise to your Christ, King of eternal glory. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. It was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem by the sheep gate a pool, in Hebrew called Beth Zatha, which has five porticos. And these lay a multitude of invalids, blind, lame, paralyzed. One man was there who had been ill for thirty-eight years. When Jesus saw him and knew that he had been lying there a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be healed? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no man to put me into the pool when the water is troubled. But while I am going, another steps down before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your pallet and walk. And at once the man was healed, and he took up his pallet and walked. Now that day was the Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to carry your pallet. But he answered them, The man who healed me said to me, Take up your pallet and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who said to you, Take up your pallet and walk? But the man who had been healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had withdrawn, as there was a crowd in the place. Afterward, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you are well. Sin no more, but nothing worse before you. The man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had healed him. And this was why the Jews persecuted Jesus, because he did this on the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Here begins the altercation with the Jews, which is going to be presented to us in this last part of the holy season of Lent, dovetailing into Passion Tide when the consequences follow. He is upsetting the system, so it seems, and they feel threatened, for it is the system that upholds them. On this day one sees, right throughout the liturgy, beginning with the introit, those who are thirsty come to the waters. Going through the first reading, Ezekiel and this strange vision of those waters coming from the temple and healing. Passing again through the psalm with reference to healing and waters that coming from the city's own fullness which is God. The waters of that river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within. So this water coming out is coming from the fountainhead itself. And in the Gospel we have Christ bypassing the means, which is this strange stirring of the waters, and himself by a word healing. There is near our home in Wales a town in the middle of the slate mining area, Bethesda, named after this and as happens in the country areas of North Wales, the chapel, Bethesda Chapel, built for the miners, gives eventually the name to the village itself, which then grows a bit and becomes a little town. Quaint. But also a reminder, the temple, however simple it might be, where God and man meet, is the fitting orientation of a society. When the Sabbath, correctly observed, is no longer a day of encounter, when other things
dispersed the community which in days of old hovered around that place of worship and obtained great consolation therein, then God is no longer centre. Man is. He is dispersed. These miners were very poor and also very much in danger. Life was quite short. Silicosis, accidents. But yet they had God. When it came to the First World War, those who went from these villages to the trenches went with faith, especially after the huge revival that they had just before the war. God, in his own way, provided means that, that might go with God also in their soul. In the last resort, if we have many things in this life, even if we have all kinds of medical means and great attention given to the body, even if we have a lot stored up for us for tomorrow in our bank account, if we are not in contact with the waters of life, divine grace, by whatever means it comes, then we are far more poor than those miners. We think we have a long life. What is life if God is not in the midst? And even for pious Christians, if God is only just about in the midst, all for God, we are doing many things. We are plugged into the highest technology, all for God. And yet we are not able to find that Sabbath rest with those busy miners at least had. And by the way, when it came to the revival, they couldn't close the chapels even at night. They couldn't stop the praising and the singing. It was a phenomenon. In student days, I was given a picture book, very well prepared. It was of Gethsemane Abbey in Kentucky. The text was by Thomas Merton and the pictures were contemporary and the title was A Life of Praise. In recent days I've been made to meditate profoundly on this title, A Life of Praise. The Lord loves gratuitous praise and beauty. The Lord loves simplicity which enables the soul to look at him eye to eye. He doesn't want the maximum of efficiency if it's at the price of intimacy. Lent is a time to take care of the soul and to expose it to what we have in our Catholic faith, to the fullness of sacramental life. For the Church itself is the sacrament of the salvation of the human race and it has these channels, sevenfold channels, of healing on every level. We need calm and the grace of God bestows it. Let us live a simple life for we're only here once and we will do more if the Lord does it through us and if we do all kinds of wonderful things of our own initiative. Brilliant though it may be. Et medium nobis immortalitatis operentur, per Christum Dominum nostrum. Vedetinium et justum 
este comeza lutare, lo stivi sempre giubico e grazia sagere, domine sancte fate l'omnipotenza eterna Deus, qui corporali unio vizia confimis, mentem elevas, per tutem largiris et premia, per questum dominum nostrum, Per que maestatem tuam laudat angeli, adorat dominationes, tremunt potestates. Celi terorum que virtudes acqueata serafim, socia exultatione concelebrant. Cum que vos et nostras voces, ut admiti iubias te precamur, suplici confessione dicentes. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, plenis uncele et terra, gloria tua, osana in excelsis. Benedictus qui venet in nomine Domini, osana in excelsis. Vede Sanctus est Domine, ons omnis sanctitatis. Ec en Godona Quesumus, Benitus Tum Errore Sanctifica, Ut nobis corpus et sangue spiunt, Domini nostri Iesu Christi, Qui compassioni voluntari et saderetu, Accepit panem et gratia sagens regit, Tedit que discipuli suis dicens. Ac cipite et manducate ex hoc omnes. Hoc est enim corpus meum quod probobis tradet. Simili modo post concinatum est, ac cipiens et canicem, iterum tibi gratia sagens, deditis e punis suis dicens. Ac cipite et pibite ex eo omnes, ic est enim calix sanguinis mei, nobi et eterni testamenti, Qui probabis et promotis e fundetur in remissionem peccatorum, hoc facite in meam commemorationem. Mysterium of Fidei, Matem Tuam Annunciamus Domine, Et Tuam Resurrectionem Confitemur, Tone Quenius. Memoris Igitur Mortis et Resurrectionis Eius, Tibi Domine Panem Vite, Et Calicem Salutis Oferimus, Gratias agentes quia nos dignos abuisti, a stare coram te et tibi ministrare. Et supliges te precamu, ut corporis et sanguinis Christi participes, a spiritu sancto congregemur in unum. Omnis honor et gloria per omnia secula seculorum. Amen.
Fece pe saluta de vos moniti, et divina instituzione formati, adenumos diniceri. Pater noster, qui es in cilis, sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat venium tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Panem nostrum cotidianum da nobis odie, et imite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos amala. Libera nos quesumus domine ab omnibus malis, Da propitius pacem in diebus nostris, ut ope misericordiae tui adiuti, et a peccato simus semper liberi, et ab omni perturbatione securi. Expectantes beatam spem, et adventum salvatoris nostri, Iesu Christi. Creatum est venium et potestas, et gloria in secula. Domine Iesu Christi, Quid existi apostolis tuis, pacem relinco vobis, pacem meam do vobis. Ne respicias peccata nostra, se fidem ecclesiae tue. Iam qui secundum voluntatem tuum, pacificare et coadunare dinieris, qui vivis et renias in secula seculorum. Amen. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, Miserere nobis, agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis, agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Dominus regime, et nicium ikiderit, in loco pascue, ibimu conocabit, Super aquam refectionis educabit me. Purifica que somos domine, mentes nostras penimus, et renova genestibus sacramentis, ut consequente et corporum presens, pariter et futurum capiamus auxilium, per Christum dominum nostrum. Blessed Michael the Archangel, defend us in the hour of conflict. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God restrain him, we humbly pray, until thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, trust Satan down to hell, and with him all the evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen.